Hey, my lovely YouTubers, welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, your girl Morgan Trey CJ. And today's video is all about how to find your purpose. But before we get into this video, boo, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube family and you turn on that notification bell and you check me out over on the gram. So ladies, I will say if you are someone who's been following me for a while, you know I have talked about purpose for years. Because honestly guys, before I found my purpose, I was the party girl. I was looking forward to the next event, the next function, the next Thirsty Thursday, the next guy. But when I got my purpose, guys, it cleared out a lot of fog. And honestly, I went from being that girl who was always looking forward to the next event who didn't even go anymore. I was so focused on what God had put in my heart and my purpose. I want to share with you some key tips and some key signs that showed me what my purpose was. And, and honestly, guys, I will tell you, you might have your overall purpose, but there's always going to be seasons in your life where God is going to give you new things to try for and strive for. And you might see these things even within yourself, okay? Like, but God may be showing you your purpose, but he's already telling you to do some other things too to get you there. And you might feel these signs or notice these signs in your life, okay? So the first sign is, boo, I got to tell you is when God first showed me my purpose, I felt unqualified. Let me just be honest. He would show me visions of me speaking like on stages and talking to these people. And I would be like, Mm -mm, that ain't me your girl ain't speaking your girl ain't doing nothing on no stage because I felt so unqualified not only to talk for God period because I didn't grow up in the right upbringing I didn't know scripture like that but I also felt so unqualified because I had never seen a woman do that yet I hadn't grown up in church or anything where I seen all these women pastors and preachers or speakers I didn't see that honestly unless it was a teacher you know and so I didn't truly see that and so I didn't truly feel qualified I didn't know what I was even seeing in my mind's eye honestly I would be like now what is this I would be so confused and so honestly now with this time has come along I have noticed that a big sign was when I felt so unqualified to do it it's like I wouldn't even let myself go to those places within my mind when he would be when I'd be getting visions and ideas and a big sign was because I felt unqualified. I didn't feel worthy of that. The second sign is, is that I ran from it, okay? And this is so real, guys. I ran from that thing. I mean, when I ran, 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 I ran to the arms of men. I ran the opposite direction. Because every time I would feel that pull to that, it scared me. And it, why it scared me was because it didn't align to my plan. I ran from it because it didn't align to who I was at the time. It didn't align to my why, why I was in college, what the degree I was working for. It didn't align to my overall plan for my life. The little vision I kind of had for my life was to be a physical therapist and things like that. It didn't align to that. And so I ran from it because it didn't make sense. It scared me. And that t is leads us into to the sign number three. It scared me. It was beyond what I had ever imagined for myself. And so it scared me. Literally, y'all, it scared me. I would wake up with not sweats of this, like scared. Like, why am I always seeing myself doing that? It scared me. It scared me so much that I, I would just be so afraid of it. I was so scared of it. And to me, those are some key signs. So first off, you feel unqualified but it keeps showing back up in your life, okay? Next thing is you, you run from it and it still keeps trying to show up. You're scared of it and it's still showing up. And then another sign too is it's an idea that won't go away. This is something that I think I realized after a while, like even though I launched my ministry in 2017, this idea had been there since like 2015, 2014. It would not go away. It would show up through every season of life, no matter if I was laying in the arms of a man, if I was sitting in the dorm room, if I was in the study hall, it, whatever I was doing, this idea kept coming back to my mind. It would not go away. It would not leave me alone. It literally would chase me down wherever I was. And so it was something that wouldn't go away. And that was kind of some signs. Now I can see that was me leading me to my purpose. Like your purpose was all around you. And I will say though, guys, when you're walking on this journey, it's a death. And I know a lot of people don't like to say that. A lot of people don't say, oh, it's just you find your purpose and then you step into it and it's beautiful. Oh, boo. I wish. I wish that's what it was like. It's not. It's sacrifice. You have to sacrifice. And this is the truth. When you're stepping into your purpose, there is something God is going to require you to let go of to achieve that purpose. And, and this is just clear and plain and simple. Um, he, but he will structure it to your life and it may be different for everybody else. It'll be different for every person. But it comes with a death. Whenever God is going to take you to a new level and to stepping into a new place, he is going to require sacrifice. 
It could be a person. It could be a situation. It could be a mindset. He will require sacrifice, boo. And stepping into my purpose was scary. And there were some things I had to let go of that was the hardest things I let go of probably up to this season of my life. I'm not going to lie. There were some hard things I had to let go of. Um, and I've shared quite a few here on my channel. But um, stepping into your purpose is beautiful. But don't forget, it comes with the sacrifice. And if you're not willing to sacrifice something, if you're not willing to let go of something to go further in God, then you will not go further. And that's period, point blank. You will not go further. Not saying you're, you're, you know, you're, you're not going to be a good Christian. No, no, you can still love the Lord, but not being willing to go further in your faith with him. We do it. People do it all the time. I've done it before. And so for me personally on this journey of purpose, I always talk about purpose because it has changed my life. But it comes with a cost. And let me just be real, it does. I, I would love to tell you it doesn't. But it comes with a cost. And it's okay because God is going to strengthen you on that journey. And um, But don't think it's butterflies and rainbows 24-7 because that would be very misleading. And I know I talk about it so much. And maybe I've been misleading with it a few times too. But he will structure it to your life. And he will call you higher and higher. And when he calls you to places, there are things that can't go and you've got to let them go. And um, there are parts of you and things that you can't take further. Let's be real. And so um, stepping into your purpose and finding your purpose is major for your life. It changes your life for the better, but it comes with sacrifice. It comes with bearing your cross, whatever that cross may be. It comes with that. And so I want to encourage you, if you're a woman going through this journey and you feel like you're bearing a cross and you felt that. And I have definitely been through that season where I've bared this cross of my purpose. Um, but remember that Christ can bear it for us, too. He can help you carry that thing, but also go through your journey because there's a reason why you have to bear that to get to that other destination. And this sucks talking about, honestly, I don't even like talking about this because... This is the real to your purpose. Like this is the real to stepping into your purpose. Like I would love to tell you it's going to be beautiful and God's going to give you all the signs in the world and you're going to walk this thing out. It's beautiful. It is. But don't forget that just because you step in it in 2015, 2017, you're going to have to keep letting things go and you're going to have to continue to sacrifice your whole journey on that path. It's not one and done. It's not like, oh, I sacrificed when I stepped into it. And I think I had misled. After my big sacrifice, the big thing, letting things go, I was like, okay. And then God called me to let something else go. And something else go. It's like, I first set let go of a person, a relationship. Then I'm like, okay. And then bam, I had to let go of having sex, obviously, until marriage. Okay, let that go. Okay, let go of alcohol. Okay, let that go. And God required me to let go of another person. Like, let that go. And it's like, okay, God all right can can we quit letting things go it's like no nah, you can't you gotta there's gonna come seasons in your life you're gonna have to sacrifice and it may not be a person it could be other things too but um god has used people many times in my life he has used dreams too goals i've had for myself and things i've truly wanted he's even called me to sacrifice those things put those back down and take on what he got for me trust him so i just wanted to share that with you guys because purpose is beautiful and those are some signs but it comes with sacrifice. I can't encourage you to go on a journey of purpose without encouraging you to sacrifice what is necessary to see that purpose revealed. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little somber, but it was real because I'm going through that again in my life where I'm letting go and transitioning and trusting. And this is something I always tell God though. I, I might fight with God for a little bit. I might He might call me to do something and I don't wanna do it and I might battle but it's something he gave me years ago. And I think it's in Isaiah somewhere. But it says, um, if you are looking for anyone to send, send me. And I don't necessarily just say that. I tell him, wherever you want me to go, I'll go. I've been saying this since 2015, 2016. Um, but wherever you want me to go, whatever, wherever you want me to go, I'll go. And whatever you want me to do, I'll do. If you are looking for anyone to send, Lord, send me. And I said that years ago, and I still say that, and I mean it. And sometimes it's hard. I'm not going to lie. 
when God is sending you places and, and challenging you to go places you don't necessarily want to go or you don't necessarily see for yourself, it's hard. But when you say those words, you mean it. And you do the hard things. And you sacrifice. If it's your time, if it's your, your goal, your plan, your journey you plan for yourself, the route you saw, you sacrifice that. And so that's my encouragement for you today. Some signs to know your purpose and some signs to help you on this journey. And not to be afraid of it, but to embrace it and stop resisting it, stop running from it because it's actually very beautiful and it could be a setup, boo. That's what I truly believe is many times God has called me to let something go because it was always a setup for something way greater. And so that's what I have to trust and I have to believe in. And um, I hope you do the same. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.